Robots never fail to amaze us, but not all robots have all the expected quality because each robot is manufactured keeping some particular goal in mind. Some robots are, that's why, built to be the fast-paced runner. So, want to know more about the speediest robots on Earth? Stick around to the end of the video then. Today we are going to discuss the fastest robots in the world that will shock you. So watch this video till the end. Hello and welcome back to the AI Universe. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the new things we bring for you regarding the tech and the trends, but also the vital difference between the haves and the have-nots. So without further delay, let's dive into today's topic, Outrunner. Today's robots, which are developed at colleges and laboratories, are generally prototypes with only one copy. They're mostly intended to test and develop various technologies and their practical applications. However, you're watching Outrunner right now, which is an exception to the norm. Why? To begin with, it's a robot whose primary purpose is to entertain the user. Second, the robot's limited creators are gathering funds to begin mass manufacturing. As you might expect, Outrunner is a robot that runs. Its six legs feature a one-of-a-kind design inspired by biology. The device imitates the movement of a legged animal by evenly dispersing body weights. It's worth noting that Outrunner can easily outpace a person due to its top speed of 32 kilometers per hour. The robot and its team of creators broke the global speed record for small robots when it was accomplished during the testing. Outrunner also works flawlessly and is extremely reliable despite the lack of intricate control algorithms or pricey sensors. The robot can travel across almost any surface. The battery lasts two hours thanks to a technique that saves kinetic energy while moving. All of this is also true with the $800 performance model. However, for $250 you can get a simplified variant called Outrun. It has a top speed of 16 km per hour and can work for up to one hour. Next, Forpheus. This is another robot that deserves a spot in the Guinness Book of Records. Omron, a Japanese corporation, invented the Forpheus. This complex contraption is a ping-pong coach. Engineers worked hard to make it a worthy opponent for even the most experienced gamer. The robot relies on cameras and unique sensors to carry out its tasks. They look at the opponent's body posture, his motions, and the bot's movement. Every millisecond, for example, extensive analysis is conducted, and this can always forecast the direction of the ball and hit it back, but there's more. The AI decides the opponent's skill during the game. The information is then studied by Forpheus to build an effective training program. It's old enough to be tough without being too annoying for the user, so it stimulates the gamer and improves train efficiency. Next is Sub-1 Reloaded. Yu Sheng Du of China holds the current record for solving the Rubik's Cube in the quickest time of 3.47 seconds. In 2018, he broke the previous record. And, contrary to popular belief, robots can solve Rubik's Cubes in a fraction of the time. Sub-1, a robot, achieved an incredible time of 2.87 seconds in January 2016. Alba Thea, the project's German creator, did not, however, end there. He demonstrated to the Sub-1 grade in November 2016 that with an improved version of his robot, he could solve a Rubik's Cube in just 4.637 seconds. A laptop is used in combination with a specific machine to create the system. The system scans the puzzle with a camera, analyzes the color locations, calculates the choices and makes a conclusion. It takes milliseconds to solve the Rubik's Cube using these calculations. Although it does not appear to be very advanced, the creation of this robot took around 2,000 hours. Next, IRB760FX. Not all robots are intended for research. This model, for instance, completes very particular practical tasks. The IRB760FX is a highly productive specialized robot created specifically for high-speed press automation. A wide variety of distinct functioning pieces are included with the robot. They are utilized to hoist and transport standard-sized loads and work components. The IRB760FX is one of the most powerful devices available today. Its speed is 15-20% to 20 faster than that of its competitors on average. It distinguishes out for its smooth motions and exceptional repeatability at the same time. This type can handle weights up to 100 kilograms and has a working radius of 3.2 meters. The robot may, however, be supplied with the tools to expand the operating radius by 1.65 meters if necessary. Despite its numerous features and great power, the IRB760FX is surprisingly tiny. The robots, like the pricing line, don't take up too much room and may be deployed in tight spaces. Salto is next on the list. Despite its little size and weight of only 100 grams, this robot is a highly complex, technologically advanced machine capable of doing a variety of strange and spectacular acts. Researchers from the University of California, Berkeley created Salto. In 2016, the first version of the film was released. It can tilt forward and backward, as well as leap and bounce against a wall. The robot acts similarly to a pendulum. The robot's mobility is affected by how hard it pushes off, as well as the angle of its leg and landing. 
The initial motion, on the other hand, was unable to follow a path on its own. The robot was capable of calculating and performing leaps, but it required location data to do so. They were first registered by a human using infrared markers and several cameras before being relayed to the robot. SALT's most recent iteration debuted roughly a year ago. Finally, the robot figured out how to gather all of the essential data on its own. According to studies, it is capable of leaping over 300 times in 200 seconds and the robot knows precisely where he will land each time he jumps. The error margin is less than a millimeter. The robot's greatest leap height is 120 centimeters and its speed ranges between 30 and 60 kilometers per hour. Next, Raptor. It's yet another world record-setting robot. The Korean Institute of Science and Technology produced Raptor, a two-legged robot. It initially aired in 2014. The Raptor's top speed is 46 kilometers per hour, making it the world's second fastest robot overall and the fastest robot, and its name is rather self-explanatory. Its legs, as you can see, are reminiscent of the limbs of bipedal dinosaurs that previously walked the world, and it even has a tail that operates like an animal's tail. It aids in maintaining equilibrium. The Raptor stands 47 centimeters tall and weighs 3 kilograms. Next, Mabel. Although this robot is no longer a world record holder, we couldn't resist including it on our list today. Because Mabel is a lightning quick robot. It was created by University of Michigan academics. He was originally displayed in 2009 and at the time, he was the fastest robot on the globe. Engineers were able to educate the two-legged robot to reach speeds of up to 13 kilometers per hour. The design isn't particularly tiny. The robot is 65 kilograms in weight with the majority of its mass in the upper torso. During the development of Mabel, the researchers were guided by the goal of building a robot that could run quickly while also adapting to any terrain and using power as effectively as possible. They performed a fantastic job. Finally, there's the Cheetah robot, which runs faster than Usain Bolt. Cheetah, a robot with four legs, has achieved a new global speed record for legged robots at running the fastest human. When tested on the treadmill, the Pentagon-funded headless machine hit 28.3 miles per hour. Usain Bolt, a Jamaican sprinter, with a peak speed of 27.78 miles per hour. The research is part of a larger attempt to produce military-grade robots. According to one robotics specialist, the Cheetah was designed solely to murder humans. It was developed by Boston Dynamics, a robotics firm based in Massachusetts, with funding from the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. The goal, according to DARPA, is to improve the effectiveness of combat fighters over a wider spectrum of operations. The Cheetah, which is propelled by a hydraulic pump, shattered its previous speed record of 29 kilometers per hour set in February. As it raced on a treadmill, the Cheetah had a little edge over Bolt, DARPA stated in a statement. But the majority of the power Cheetah needed was to swing and elevate its legs quickly enough not to drive itself forward. In 2013, the agency hopes to put the robot to the test in the field. The design of the vehicle was inspired by the Cheetah, the world's fastest land mammal, which can achieve speeds of 121 kilometers per hour. DARPA program manager Gil Pratt remarked, Cheetahs are amazing examples of how natural engineering has generated speed and agility across tough terrain. To guide stride patterns, bending and unflexing of elements like the back, positioning of limbs, and stability, our Cheetah bot pulls concepts from nature's design. We get technology building blocks from Cheetah and similar research projects that open up possibilities for a wide spectrum of robots suitable to future Department of Defense operations. Professor Noel Sharkey of the University of Sheffield Department of Artificial Intelligence and Robotics has mixed sentiments about the development. It's a wonderful technological achievement, he said, but it's tragic that it'll be used to murder people. I'm guessing it'll be utilized for pursuing people across the desert. I can't think of many civilian uses for it, maybe hunting, farming, or rounding up sheep. But of course, if it's employed in war, it'll murder people as well since it won't be able to tell the difference between civilians and troops. According to DARPA's news release for the Cheetah Project, the robots might be employed in emergency response, humanitarian relief, and other defense operations in the future. And with that being said, we have concluded this video. Let us know in the comment box which one of them interests you the most. Also tell us, what great purpose can be served if you can avail such a fast robot? We hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics and smash the notification bell to follow us. And we'll catch you on the next one. Until then, peace!